What's going on, people? It's your boy, Patrick Michael Strange. I got not quite accurate cosplay in my house. Strange Manor. Brandy, Giano, and uh, we've got a trailer reaction. One of our infamous trailer reactions. We do. Brought to you by Spooky Cola, because there's nothing better in this world than not getting sued. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, we, got a, we get a lot of love for our trailer reactions, so we're going to have a good time with this spooky, scary one called The Nun. The Nun drops this Friday. Um, let us know in the comments if you're checking it out, and uh, we're going to check out this trailer, and then after that, we're going to give you our quick review and whether or not uh, we're interested in seeing it because of the trailer. So, if you're making a determination whether or not you're seeing it or not, and you want to see us, you know, let us know. That's what we do. That's why we're doing this. And we're just having a good old time. Right, peoples? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Uh, here we go. Click. It says, make sure you watch to the end. Uh, scary I had a series of visions when I was younger. And after each one ended, the same <laughs> thought would be stuck in my head. What did you see? I saw none. I was asked to accompany a priest to an abbey in Romania. <laughs> the abbey has a long history. Valak, not all good. The darkest chapter was born. Should we get down? God ends here. Forgiveness, Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, shit, hold up. Is there a little bit more? Ready to move to the next trailer. Oh, this is like... Oh, I think we got a little bit more. Hold up. We're just going to keep this going. I think we ran into another trailer, but we're going to check this out. We've got the priest inside... Uh, in, he's in the casket. He's in the casket. He's, in the casket. he's, casket. he's ringing the bell, like, because when they okay. call Oh, holy shit! No, it's still the night. Okay. IMAX, September 7th. All right. Cut. I'm so fucking amazed. Uh, Marianne, behind the camera, is shaking her head. She's like, fuck oh that. God. You don't like religion in scary films? You know what? I, I, I do not deal well with the occult and, okay. and scary films. Like, nothing gets me into church faster. <laughs> Man, it's like, happening in a church. <laughs> Christ compels you. <laughs> oh my God. What do you guys think? I would Deanna. milk those tits. <laughs> you what? Yo, yo, I heard tits as I would milk those tits. tits. I would milk those tits. You're milking no. tits. Really? That reference? Yes, that reference. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with a hat. What do you think, Deanna? Well, I mean, so first off, my questioning is, is this going along? Because it said, you know, repeatedly said, before The Conjuring, before Annabelle. Annabelle. Is yeah. this all in line with all those films? Am I to... Interesting. Am I to assume this? Because it looks like, like, uh, uh, the link that's up there actually right now, it says The Conjuring Universe, and it shows Annabelle, and it looks oh. like The Nun in there. So I think it's all part of the same universe. And if so, oh, I mean, shit. keep it going. Yeah. Um, I mean, just, I that's kind of cool that they're building stuff together like that. Yeah, you don't really see uh, many horror genres actually build a universe oh, short of like your Freddy and your, your Jason and your yeah. Michael Myers. Those are all centralized around just those characters. Some love for uh, Freddy DJ. Yeah. Um, but as... Is it going to make you pay top dollar to go see it at the theaters and all that? Or are you waiting I mean, I check it out. I'll definitely watch it. It yeah. looks like fun. Mostly just because I, I really want to see people get scared because it makes me laugh. <laughs> you like the jump scares. I like to watch people react to the jump scares because it's actually hard to jump scare me. So yeah, I like yeah. to enjoy why. Like I'll the whole time you guys jump, I'm just sitting back. You just <laughs> it's great. What about you, Brandy? Well, uh, I love it because I screamed. <laughs> like no, I, I I'm oh a few years ago I was very against horror films, mm -hmm. and it's just because I didn't find anything that hooked me or okay. would pull me in. And then I started watching Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay. Loved the first original movie. Fantastic. 
cheesy as all get out now, yeah. but back then it was cutting edge horror. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. Blood spurting out of a bed. Yeah. That was great. And that was my gateway. And then I started, then we, <laughs> then we lived with the horror movie buff. Yes. And she was just like, you need to see this and this and this. I'm like, okay. So I'm not more into it. Definitely. I will definitely go see this because if it makes me scream, that means it's good. Though I do have to be careful. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So those with heart condition, be a little bit careful with yeah, jump scare films. So you going with us, Marianne? <laughs> Mary is like, fuck well, that well, shit. What if it's at the Alamo? I'm not trying to choke on my popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne does not approve. So what do you think it is about uh, horror films? To Because there's a lot of people, uh, like my wife, um, they just can't. can't. Oh. I think to me it's uh, you learn a lot from horror films and it's a feeling of, of alive that I get mm. you know I feel alive so you know and I appreci- appreciate things a, a, a little bit more so I, I will say from from my perspective what I find sort of interesting is I can't do horror but I could watch Hannibal all day see yeah, that's yeah, kind of like that's weird horror. that's because that more goes along with a psychological thriller that's more right. but I, 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 I guess in a way to put it some you got horror movies and then you've got I guess I would call it Smart horror, which is the psychological thrill, is one that that kind of just like fuck with your brain. Yeah. Versus the jump scares, the blood, the guts, the gore, and all that. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I just wanted to yeah. throw that out there. Yeah. So for for me, the the jump scares, um, part part of the issue, like all scariness aside, is that they all kind of follow the same formula. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? The idiot is gonna. Yeah, I, the idiot was walking down the hallway. Yeah. The, the <laughs> idiot's gonna walk down the hallway. <laughs> Somebody's something's gonna somebody's gonna hear something. Go, what's that? Let me tell you, nobody here is gonna go investigate anything. Okay, and it's always usually the version that survives, <laughs> or the you PLC. Know. You know, yeah. Yep. yeah. So, so I think that's part of the problem is mm-hmm. is that the formula keeps getting rehashed. The like you said, the jump scares. You know, and then on a more personal taste level, again. I'm not super squeamish, but I don't know. I kind of feel like repre- like for me personally, it feels like I'm pressing my luck when I watch <laughs> anything to do with like religious aspects gotcha. or whatever. I can't do The Exorcist. I don't even like looking at the box. Oh my gosh! You know, like that. You know, that's what my front wife feels like with a Ouija board. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Do I don't. Ouija boards I, oh my gosh! So I guess it's me and you. My wife will not let me touch a Ouija or bring one in the house. I, under, I understand and respect the purpose of a Ouija board and why people use it, um, but I have almost said... I don't believe that shit is well, real. The thing is, is and, that, and that's fine. I, I, I'm I indifferent on it, oh. but I will say this, um, and because this actually almost happened when I was a teenager. If I see you in a cemetery with a Ouija board, I will set you on fire, and I try. Because it's disrespectful to the people who are dead there. I'm sorry. It oh. is. I'm very protective of cemeteries. That's an angle on it. Yeah, I, I, I saw somebody yeah. with a Ouija board, a group of people, and I said, hey... Get the hell out. They said no. I went to my house, which was a couple blocks away. I grabbed the lighter fluid and a, and a Zippo. I came back and started hitting them with the lighter fluid. I did not care at that point. I don't want this brother to go to jail. So that was Gianno. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, the, people, the, story, the end of the story, though, the people did survive. <laughs> so, but um, the, for me, I think what a, a lot of reasons why um, some people don't like these types of movies is because it is that fear. Like, it's also like, for example, I'm going to jump back to Freddy Krueger because he's my guy. He's my monster. Um, Freddy came to kids in their dreams. And it's like, you can't control your dreams. You, like, you can, but you can't. You don't believe you can because they just happen. So something that comes in your dreams and kills you when you're super defenseless it's very vulnerable for a lot of people who need that control in their life. They're like, okay, well, I can't control the rest of the world in my life, but I need this control over myself. And the fear that these movies, you don't have control because, uh, like, over yourself or over your own life or death situation like that is terrifying. And that can mess with people's minds and mess with people's fears. I know when I was younger, I, if I ever saw anything scary, I wouldn't sleep for nights. Like, I'd have nightmares. So, you know, on the flip side of that, some people enjoy the fear that horror movies bring because it helps them, one, feel a little bit more alive, and two, 
they they let go of that security for a yeah. moment. They 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 get that that endorphin release of it because and it's they like, face that fear. Yeah, and they, and they well they, they face it and they they almost it's almost like getting off on it like a uh, an adrenaline junkie would. You know, you go through these death defying things to get that blood rush to get that feeling going. That's what it is with fear and with fear, especially in horror movies, because you know. For the most part, most of the shit that's happening is completely fake. Yeah. But it's like for a moment, you're you're so hooked and you're so right there, it, you feel it and it just releases all of that. Just like the bowels releasing from that sound that you hear right now. <laughs> just it's what happens. And there's and that's that's a lot of the reason why people hook to it. Not to mention sometimes when you watch B rated horror movies, you also just need a good reason to laugh. Yeah, yeah. B rates are great for that. If you ever want to see the worst B rated movie in history, go watch the movie Nightmare Man. Trust me, it is everything bad about horror movies. Yeah, so, oh god, it's so bad. The Black Sheep was great. That's a classic. Do you watch now on the horror circuit? Mm -hmm. um, do you watch Korean horror? Because I feel like they they are oh, fucking they take to another level. I have, I have seen the audition, and that is all I'm going to say. <laughs> they, they are intense, and I'm just I'm not at that level yet. We'll have to save that for another reaction and yeah. talk and discussion. Um, so none trailer. That's our reaction. It drops this weekend. Marianne says fuck no. Brandy's like she's gonna check it out, and Gianna's gonna check it out. I'm gonna laugh. Yeah. Uh, he's going to laugh at me. I don't know if I'm going to uh, run to theaters. Um, I, I generally like to be safe in my home. <laughs> I'm playing. Hey, I'm not that scared. But I've got other things I want to watch. So, uh, but yeah, I'm going to check it out, though, eventually. Yeah, I'm not rushing. All right. None. Let us know what you think in the comments below and all of that. All right, peoples. a series of visions when I was younger and after each one ended the same thought would be stuck in my head what did you see I saw none word of my visions reached the church and I was asked to accompany a priest to an abbey in Romania the abbey has a long history here. 